Welcome, in this video, I'll be traveling to Nami Island. It's an inland island full of beautiful nature and scenery about two hours away from Seoul City, the capital of South Korea. Now, the island is known for where a lot of K-dramas are filmed. And honestly, even though I haven't seen them, I just wanted to get away from the city and see something else that is on offer. So in this video, I go solo on a guided tour to Nami Island. Now, the first stop is called the Garden of Morning Calm. On the way, we stop at these beautiful gardens and it was just fantastic. Then after the gardens, we got on the bus and we went to Nami Island. We got the ferry across to the island. I explored, then we came back. And then in part three, we go to the French and Italian village on the way back to Seoul. So check out the vlog, hope you enjoy it, and we'll get straight into it at the Garden of Morning Calm. Enjoy. It's got restaurants, cafes, all these different gardens within the big garden. So it's actually a massive, massive garden, massive complex, lots to explore. I'm not sure if we'll get time to see it. Hard to capture the real beauty you have to be here to experience it but look at the different the colors of the trees One advantage of coming here when it was a bit rainy is that you get this beautiful stream, this water running through. Oh, here's a screw. Look on the positive side of life, guys. Yes, it can rain a bit, not great. It's a little bit cold now, but we get the water coming through. It would be boring without it. They've all built stone pagodas here in the stream. It's pretty impressive. There's so many great places to take photos here. If you're looking for somewhere Instagrammable, a tourist attraction, I would definitely come to the Garden of Morning Calm. So we've made it to the Nami Island Wharf. So you have to get a ferry from here across there to the island. I think we're gonna get some traditional food first and then we'll head over. So you can also get to the island by taking the skyline wire. I don't think I'll be doing that, but it looks like a good option if you want to try something different. <laughs> this is the entrance to Nami Island where you buy the tickets. So they make it out like it's its own country, it has its own flag. It's called the Nami Nara Republic and they call this immigration. So it's like you're entering another country, but it's just a, it's just a tourism. Another thing is there's supposed to be ostriches on this island. So you can see when it actually snows in winter in a few months, you get ostriches in the snow. I've never seen that before either. So we got this spicy chicken vegetable mix. Like, yeah, what's it called? Takkaobi. <laughs> ah, uh, looks good. <laughs> All right, we're done with lunch. Now we're heading to the ferry off to Nami Island. On the ferry, there's no proper seats. I think it's just all right. It's a bit chilly. It's about 13 degrees now, but I found the Aussie flag. And we're heading this way to Tsunami Island.
So the island is known for its beautiful palm trees. I think this is where the K-dramas were filmed. Very nice. And there's also these beautiful red trees all along the coastline here. Korea is definitely underrated in terms of the natural environment. This is quite unique. The Great Pyramids of Nami Island. So we've just been walking around the outside of the island. It has yeah, spectacular scenery. It's mostly just nature, but the rain stopped and the sun's come out a little bit. Yeah, it's very peaceful. We've spotted some rabbits. Seems like we can get fairly close. They must be used to people. Annyeong haseyo. Sarange. There's all kinds of animals here. Here we have a peacock. I haven't seen one of them since last year in Australia. Ooh. So it seems like they'll only let you touch them if you have food. See, they come to check if I have food and I don't have any because I ate lunch before, so they're not interested in me. So it started raining, so I found my way undercover. It turns out there's a really nice hotel here. Hotel Jongwon Ru. So everyone's taking cover under that little temple area. Looks like there's a pool over there. But yeah, you can actually stay on the island. I think it would be nice for a night or two. I'll keep that in mind if I ever come back here. It's a pretty awesome water feature. So now the sun's out again. So the umbrella goes up and down. It just started pouring and now it's clear again. Crazy weather. I guess the whole world's becoming like that, right? It's like I'm walking through a forest. So we found this big big statue. I'll take a photo with this bad boy. <laughs> so this is a very interesting sculpture statue. It's actually massive. It's a woman breastfeeding a baby and according to the sign the breasts reference China's two major rivers the Yangtze and the Yellow conveying the maternal nature of earth in a playful manner. Definitely another interesting one. So these were the bicycles rode in that famous K-drama, Winter Sonata, that was filmed on Yami, Nami Island. So I guess that's why a lot of people might want to come here. They might want to see the filming locations for this famous K-drama. So this is a famous statue of a scene from the K-drama Winter Sonata. There's a lot of quirky statues here. I don't know what's going on there, but this is a clay art gallery. So I'm going to have a look in here and see what there is. I suppose it's by a Chinese artist. So yeah, a bit of other cultures here as well.
back to the animals. I think these are pheasants. Annyeong. It's got a prayer room here and I've seen quite a few halal restaurants as well. So if you're Muslim or from Malaysia, I think Korea would be a good spot. You'd be able to find the food you're after. The island is actually quite massive. We've been here maybe an hour and a half, two hours, and I've hardly got a chance to stop and see everything. So you could easily spend your whole afternoon or your whole half a day here. Look, here's a little squirrel running around trying to find some food. Don't know what it's doing. There's all kind of nature here. I found the ostriches. Look at that diversity on this island. Here we go. Hello. There's six ostriches in total, one, two, three, four, and then two more over there. Seems like they're quite a big space to run around. So I think they've got a decent life here on Nami Island. They're probably treated well. So we're going to head back to the ferry now and get the ferry back to the bus. I don't want to miss it. Back to the bus and off to the last stop. I think it's like another French village. I've seen these before, but hopefully Korea's will be a bit more interesting. Okay, we went to the French village and the Italian village. There's an Italian part and a French part. So, you've probably seen this before. It's sort of like a town, a theme park, in the theme of like France and Italy would be. So, I guess there's different rooms, statues, shows maybe. So, we'll check it out. But the weather is terrible and I'm hungry. So, I might just grab something to eat. It's right up in the mountains. Yeah, it's getting freezing and it's very windy. So, yeah, not too exciting. So here's some replicas of Da Vinci's artworks, including the Mona Lisa. It's actually a pretty huge exhibit. There's three floors, and yeah, I learned a lot about Da Vinci that I didn't know before such as his early uh, schemes for the helicopter that inspired a real helicopter 400 years later. And also he sort of helped design the bicycle, which is crazy to think about because it's hundreds of years before these things actually became reality. We just done the Italian village and now we're gonna go down there to the French village. Hopefully get some food or something warm. I just kept walking to the end of the French village and I found this path. I've got no idea where it goes, but I'll follow it for a bit. I've still got 30 minutes before we have to go back to the bus. Uh-oh, what's going on here? I thought it was the French village. 
that's all camper vans along there. So I guess this is a good camping spot where people would go on holiday. I wouldn't go now in this weather in the cold, but if it's sunny, I imagine this would be quite beautiful. That's obviously what they're doing while they're parked there. And we're at the airport. It's 7.30 p.m. and that wraps up the trip to Korea. We went to Busan, we went to Seoul. If you haven't checked out the other vlogs or the videos, just click or in the description, I'll put them there. Stay focused, keep going, and be authentic as always. You can do it. <laughs>